All right, the growing impact of the government shutdown. Plenty of regular Americans could soon start feeling the uh, ripple effect. This shutdown now in its third week was immediately felt by 800,000 government workers who are working for or staying at home without pay right now. But as each day passes with no end in sight, NBC's Tom Costello reports there is growing fear the fallout will spread. A new day of the government shutdown bringing new concerns about the impact on Americans, especially those relying on the federal government to get by. One of the programs in jeopardy, food stamps. Nearly 39 million people use it to feed their families, and it's quickly running out of funding. I won't be able to come in here and buy my groceries. The Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, also left scrambling, asking landlords not to evict thousands of tenants covered by a now-expired program in a letter obtained by the Washington Post. Getting married? Lovebirds in the nation's capital may have to put those wedding bells on hold after the marriage bureau that issues licenses in D.C. was closed. Empty pockets of all personal effects, please. The paychecks for TSA officers won't land in their bank accounts later this week if the government still has the out of office message. Some of those screeners calling out sick in protest, though the TSA union is urging them not to. Rachel Turner's husband, Brian, is a TSA officer still on the job. He loves what he does. I don't want to have to ask him not to do it, but if our livelihood depends on it, you know, there will come a point where we have to decide do we stay or do we go? One thing Americans can count on, their tax refund. The White House says it will reverse past policy and have the IRS issue refunds during the prolonged shutdown. That's a small glimmer of hope for the 800,000 federal workers who are now furloughed or working without pay. Fish and wildlife botanist Christy Scarazzo spent all of her savings to move for a new government job last fall. Honestly, after rent and child care, I don't know how I'm going to pay the bills for the rest of the month. A dream job derailed by a closed government. Christy and hundreds of thousands of other workers hope we'll be back in business soon. By the way, that was Tom Costello reporting there. As for the airports, the Airline Pilots Association is calling on President Trump to end the government shutdown, saying... It puts the national airspace system's safety at risk.